Hi, and welcome back to our final tutorial on eText Reader. We'll be focusing now on the auditory highlighting feature. As you can see, I've gone ahead and made a few highlights in our program here. So what we're going to do now to access the auditory highlighting is go back to the Voices menu, which you see here. We'll click on the Voices button. And yeah, we have some different voices selected from earlier. What I'm going to do is set the first one back to Microsoft Anna. And we'll set our second one to Capstral David. And we have turned on the advanced reading options. What that's going to do is before it does a normal read of the document, it's going to go through and look for highlights, which is how our auditory highlighting is going to work. This bottom section here regards a summary. We'll touch on that in just a moment, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. We'll click back up at the start of the document, and we're going to hit the Read button. We'll say OK to refresh the highlights. From its origins in 1998, Premier Assistive Technology has established a mission to provide assistive technology to persons with disabilities and give them access to today's technologically oriented world. In targeting those objectives, we are rapidly finding that our technologies are beginning to reach far beyond the boundaries that have historically been framed by the visually disabled software market to other emerging areas. So as you can see, when reading through, the highlighted text is read with a different voice, which acts as an auditory cue to the listener. Basically says to listen to this information because it's important. So it makes it very useful for when reading through large amounts of text to highlight the important parts, not only visually, but with the voice as well. So we're going to show you another feature here that we can use in the auditory highlighting. I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the rest of the document because this next part involves the summary feature. We're going to go back to voices. Now we're going to look at the auto identify before reading. What this is, is it's using the built-in summary feature in combination with the auditory highlighting. So we can leave the highlight color as yellow, as it doesn't really matter so far for this. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Voice set to Microsoft and English United States. And I'll click back up the top, and I'll click the Read button. So it's saying Refresh Highlights, which is good. Um, we actually don't have any highlights right now, so we can uncheck that. And the Auto Identify Content, which is going to pull our summary text out of this first. So we'll click OK. Origins in 1998, Premier Assistive Technology has established a mission to provide assistive technology to persons with disabilities and give them access to today's technologically oriented world. In targeting those objectives, we are rapidly finding that our technologies are beginning to reach far beyond the boundaries that have historically been framed by the visually disabled software market to other emerging areas. We have developed a complete suite of products that address reading writing and information transfer needs for individuals with visual, cognitive, and mobility challenges. So as you can see there, it goes through, finds the important parts of the text, and then uses the auditory highlighting to switch the voice over. So this makes it a very useful way of combining our summary feature with the auditory highlighting makes reading through a document and pulling the important information out of it very easy. So that concludes our tutorial on the auditory highlighting feature of eText Reader. I'd just like to thank you for watching and be sure to visit www.readingmadeeasy.com and check out more of our support videos.